So here I want to show how to use Enterprise Provisioner with Workspace ONE. So let's open the Enterprise Provisioner. So let's start the wizard and choose the Workspace ONE. In this case, we use Wi-Fi without certificate, so that one, so VMware 2. And we start with the wizard. First of all, we can set the agent APK, which is the Workspace ONE UEM Intelligent Hub. But in this case, I just use the default URL. We put in the device server name. In this case, we just keep it like it is here. We put in an OG. The good thing is in the tool, it shows exactly where you see that. Yeah, so you can put that in. So then you type in the username and the password. This should be the staging user to um, if you want to do staging in that case. So the, if you want to do Wi-Fi, let's do Wi-Fi. So we have PowerSafe enabled. So let's use the Wi-Fi. Yeah, so it's just called Wi-Fi. It's VPA. The VPA. Let's use the password. The encryption is set to TKIP. And we have here DHCP, so we don't need static IP. So just putting in DHCP once done, we have the QR code. So that's the QR code we can um, use for um, for enrolling so we directly can scan that this is what you see on the device additionally you have the xml so you see what is happening it's doing install file it's installing the apk and so you can also modify that and then get back an additional barcode also and that's just to go to the you can modify it and you see here on the data model that everything what is in here you can copy it out change it and once you click to done you can also modify some settings so if you want to go to device owner you see what we have set it here you can also go here to device display and change some settings here this get then also applied in the qr code once you create that again this was in short too about the honeywell device provisioner with workspace one